Somewhere in our heads we have to have an idea of what the ideal active city is, what are we trying to be. It's very yeah. difficult to know how to get somewhere if you don't know where you're going. Um, so the, there is a process to become an active city and that's very, yeah, so it's, I perhaps just uh, didn't quite say what I meant earlier. It's a yeah, it, vision, mind, mind, product. We need to have some tangible thing that people have an idea of what they're trying to get to and what the benefits are yeah. of getting there. But we need a process. We need milestones to be on the way to becoming an active city, and they are equally important, if not more important. So we need to have some sort of acknowledgement of the development process as well. I mean, you know, in in a school, you don't graduate from school without having gone through prep, grade one, grade two, grade three, or whatever your system might be in your school, and each of those levels is celebrated. Each of those levels is recognised as necessary, and I think that sort of, it's the whole picture, not just the active city at the top, but we do need to have a clear picture of what that active city is. Yeah, exactly. It's, it cannot be too fussy, in a way. We have to frame, we have to make yeah. decisions. Like we discussed, there are so many things and, and uh, important issues that could be along, uh, along with this idea that we have to frame. Yeah. What are the most important ones that we want to emphasize here? Mm -hmm. The FISA is the Association of National Sports for All Organization. And I don't see here the place and the role of national or local sport for all organizations. To implement the they, they work. They're the, they're the ones that are they mediators, mediating. But it yeah. is not uh, stressed out. Uh, what's their role? Have they to go to the municipality? Have they go to the to the health service? What's their role here of the sport for all? Maybe Yomar, I I can step in. I think we should understand that. For the future, a formal discussion and a formal procedure when it comes to this sort of question is not very helpful. I think we have to bear in mind that the situation we are experiencing here in West Europe and in, in East Europe is not depicting or is not uh, reflecting the needs which we have worldwide. Tafisa is an international, it's a global organization. So the reality is that we are indeed getting requests from cities, from communities, not in particular from Europe, but from other continents. Your issue is very important, because for Tafisa, this issue might indeed mean a change of strategy. Let me, very, let me be very provocative. Maybe in future, our members will be also cities and communities. Maybe we will change the whole concept of our organization. One thing I know, and this is not in particular the answer of your question, Tafisa, when it comes now to organizational development, within the next seven, eight, nine months, has to be very attentive, very careful where we are going. We are in the most crucial stage of the history of our organization, which started in 91. And for the present Tafisa board, supported by your recommendations, by your uh, comments and so on, Tafisa will have to make his major decisions within the next seven, eight months. Or in a way, our coming General Assembly on the 4th of September this year will be some sort like a turning point for our history. And uh, the Tafisa board in his meeting in this in two weeks' time, it is, it's a two weeks, uh, two days meeting. Half a day will just stick to strategy development, which we are right now uh, preparing. So the next couple of months, uh, Stepan, will be very, very decisive for our organization. And I totally understand the question. To finish, I didn't know that, of course. No, 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 no. Your question is right. Why is Tafisa taking care suddenly of cities? My simple answer is because. They are requesting. Apparently there is no other organization which is taking care in a very operational, in a very applicable way. But 
but we will see. I, I think we can compare active city definition to health definition. That there is a very poor health and there is a very good health. And it's a continuum. And active city can be very bad, inactive city, and it can be at the other end, very active city. And there are criteria how you rate mm -hmm. the, the state. And so this, uh, this status has, can be rated any time, and the process can be followed by rating it at uh, successive time points. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, naturally the, the criteria for, so to say, ideal activity are the thousand points from the criteria, so to say. Uh, and so it's very important that we have uh, good criteria for uh, activity. And um, second thing uh, to Stepan's uh, question, I think that the, the, the national sports for all organizations here are in terms of cities, for instance, you asked, are they going to the cities? Yes, they can. And they do, for instance, in Finland, in a way. So they are, they have the mandate, possibility, even a little bit of responsibility to facilitate, to stimulate, to provocate, and so on, the cities to be active. That's one of their roles, which is le legitimate role, different in different countries. Important role. But I, I would like to ask you, see, did you, when, when there is, you see, this, uh, this active city vision target, and uh, we were talking, talking about this uh, active city concept, uh, according to my understanding, we were yesterday able to gather pretty heavy information concerning, concerning this, this uh, concept and the, and the content for the concept. And, so that uh, it, it, it's there actually mm -hmm. in our papers. So did you mean to see this kind of uh, discussion there? Uh, how, based on yesterday's work, how we produced you see, this, the, the elements for the concept, and then how we you see work it out? Because I, I think that now we have best possible material in the whole world in terms of active city because yeah, so so did, did you mean this uh, uh, what would be you see your way to work out you see this uh, this good uh, information so, so. I, uh, I'm not talking uh, about what we were discussing but in my mind came when you said that, that it is something to do with the physical and social and psychological environment and, and we think that the built environment is very important even though it is only a pedestrian route which are the most popular sport facilities in Finland even in the big city as Jyväskylä which is the 17th city in Finland so it's of course more complex buildings too but after that we have to understand what's the motivation and what are the psychological aspects of the target groups and the people. It's, it's a kind of a holistic view. It's, it's not very easy to explain. Yes, I, I underline this is really... really yes, it's, it's a complex question. That's right. Well, uh, well... Just a comment on what Ilka said about uh, uh, having a... a Poor health, good health, poor active city, a good active city. It's, it's sort of a similar, uh, sort of touching base with, the, with one of the ideas that we, uh, we discussed a little bit uh, uh, in terms of health care. What is health care? How is health care determined? Nowadays, uh, health care is considered basically illness intervention. You know, health care doesn't really step in until you're sick or you're ill. Now, if 